Hey everybody, welcome to episode 96.1. Yes, I'm taking a page out of Marvel's book. Deal with it for one episode. No, I'm kidding. I really, I ran out of time in episode 96 and I really finished everything, so I, I decided to do a point one. Eh, it's not pointless like Marvel's, don't worry. Um, really quickly, I wanted to just talk about DC a bit more before um, concluding this week completely this this episode completely um, in my opinion of the DC relaunch like I said I'm gonna be treating this like it's a brand new universe to me as far as my mind when I'm reading these books my mindset is the DC universe I love is now closed it closed down for whatever reason it's closed and this DC universe is a brand new universe it's not a, a change in the old universe. The old universe will always be the old universe, and it will always continue on, just not in paper form anymore. It will continue on in the fans' hearts and in their minds. But this is new. So what I'm doing for my review is, guess I'm doing the experiment to see how many books are going to suck. But at the same time, I want to like some of the books, because DC Comics I've grown up reading all my life. So what I'm doing is I'm looking at this, with a fresh mind, open mind, not thinking of the past, thinking of this as a new beginning, a new comic beginning. So, that's how I'm taking it. Now, with Justice League, I was talking about the digital copy. Um, I don't like computer, uh, I don't go for the digital copy uh, thing. I might actually buy another Justice League number one without the combo pack at some point, not right now though. Um, the fact is, if you don't have Wi-Fi, you can't read it. You have to have Wi-Fi 24-7 because it's on a website. You don't have the website. If you don't have, let's say you go on a trip somewhere, you don't have the website, you're not going to have the book. I don't like that. I, I would like, I mean, if it's a download where you can download it on your computer, but you can't send it to people, like one of those things that have like a coding on it where it can only be downloaded once onto one thing, fine. But I don't like the fact that you have to have the internet. I have the digital copy and I've read through it on the computer too. I like the little dramatic thing where it goes from box to box instead of just page to page. But I won't be doing it again. I'm not a fan of digital copies. For those of you who have comic shops or ways to buy comics, buy the paper. The digital copies are just... First of all, DC Comics open themselves up to being um, to pirates who will download stuff. Uh, several days earlier um, especially if it's a big event you know people are gonna pirate that stuff almost immediately once it's put on the computer um, and it's losing tradition tradition is comic books are paper they're not internet yes I understand we're in a new age where everything's computers now and everything but still I think that the best form of comic books is paper and that's why all my issues will be in paper. I regret. I don't regret regret buying the combo pack because it was in a poly bag and it's nice to get the first issues in poly bags. But I kind of regret it now because a I know I'm I'm being retarded saying that the the word combo pack and everything and the digital thing on the thing ruins the cover. But in future days, let's say the comicology got a bit because I know a lot of you love that goes down. I just got something that has like tons of advertisements for the internet thing on it and it's not there anymore in my opinion it's not worth it I'm probably gonna get another issue without the whole combo pack thing on it but that's how I feel about digital copies I was given a question that I didn't mention in my last um, blog or whatever or my last update video yes it's raining like crazy we're having a storm outside today I mentioned I was gonna answer it in this issue in this episode I once again, don't have my computer. I was going to show the digital copy compared to the um, paper copy, and I was going to have the question up to answer. I apologize because I don't know the name off the top of my head of the person, and I want to read the question perfectly. I promise, I'm sorry if you're watching this episode. Watch episode 97, which I'll be shooting this weekend, which is going to catch every. This is late. This, episode, this entire run of an episode is late, um, and I'll answer your question there I won't even bring it up. I was gonna bring it up here but I decided against it um, once again guys check out all my friends that I mentioned I'm gonna be putting up a list of things on my channel I'm gonna be putting up a, a list of links to all the comic book uh, companies and everything like that so that you guys will be able to go straight to the companies if you want you need comic book news 
That's, those are my references. That's basically what I'm, I'm putting those down as my footnotes on my channel. Those are where I get all my information from. The comic book news sites. Um, the p reason I'm putting the companies down is because I, I want to promote the companies also. The companies, all the companies I read are very awesome, are really awesome. And you guys, in case you guys want to find a company, just go on my page. I don't mind. But I, I'm going to have the news places up. Uh, I'm going to have my friends posted up on my channel somewhere. Like I said, the Justice Avengers is being disbanded, so I can have room for the links. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, anything that I feel the need to mention. Um, I already mentioned the list of everybody, what everybody's reading. Uh, the zooming is going to stop on the comic covers because uh, there's going to be too many people reviewing things at once, and probably Mike won't be behind the camera anymore. He's going to be more in front of the camera. Uh, due to the fact that he's doing a lot of DC books. Even if he drops all his DC books, he's going to be in front of the camera when he does Punisher. And I'm sure there'll be other series he might want to pick up throughout the times. I'm buying all the comics, though. Just for the record. I buy the comics, they read it, and I keep them. That's how it's working. That's how it's going to work for the DC world. Uh, I'm... Really, everything is not jump on friendly right now except DC Comics. I don't understand why... Marvel didn't try for anything big this month because they're, they're pushing too much of the random stuff in while DC's doing the relaunch. Beside the point, once again, Thor and uh, X-Men First Class is coming out uh, next week. They're coming out, I believe, on Tuesday next week. I'll probably be getting those. Uh, I have a book that I'm thinking about getting. I have to do some research on it because I'm hearing mixed reviews about it. Uh, and that's about it. Uh, how long are we at, Mike? Six minutes and 49 seconds. Mm. Trying to, I want to make sure I get everything because I was running through these and um, I want to make sure I mention everything about every comic. Hopefully in the comic books when I read the DC, I'm hoping that heroes do not kill villains. Mm, they're going to be taken out of character a bit. Batman hasn't been changed. I heard a writer admit on a, um, on a podcast video on Newsarama that Batman was one of the most unchanged characters out of the whole lot. His, his costume's changing every ten years anyway, so the change in costume is normal for Batman fans, but his attitude and everything is basically the same. He's just younger. No, because if I see that, then I'm dropping it, because I don't like seeing heroes killing villains. Bring him to justice, that's... No, I don't think they're going to kill villains, because then that kind of ruins the story for people. I'm just saying, with this new reboot, you don't know what's expected. Uh, I, don't I don't see heroes killing anybody. I, don't, I really don't see them doing that. That would be completely jaw-droppingly wow but um i'm looking forward to green lantern because they're continuing the stories basically from from where they left off i'm looking forward to the new batman and robin especially justice league international is written by dan jurgens and i saw the preview that is going to be off the wall i'm waiting for his they're gonna have a, a dynamic force signed issue from dan jurgens i'm looking forward to getting that i don't care how much it is i want that i love dan jurgens's work and Green, La Green Arrow, I keep saying Lantern, Green Arrow is where he's drawing. He's writing one comic and drawing another. He's an amazing guy, I'll tell you. Once again, he's the only man that killed Superman the right way and brought him back and everything like that, but it was still awesome. Alright guys, so that's episode 96.1. Instead of going to part two, because I'm really not reviewing any more comics. I'm just stretching this out a bit. Um... Yeah, so I'll see you guys next week, well, this weekend, for another Dark Avenger comic book review. See you guys there.